were talking about a Sherry Levine photograph, um, which is entitled Untitled After Edward Weston. Is this really a photograph by Sherry Levine? Well, it is. Um, she has done something quite astonishing here. She has re-photographed someone else's work. Edward well, Weston, the great modernist. If it's a copy of what someone else did, and there's no original thought involved or thinking through things on her part, then what makes this art? Exactly. That's part of the question. I think that that's really what she wants to raise to some degree. And she's following in the footsteps, you have to say, of someone like you know, Marcel Duchamp, who's already introduced the ready-made in the 19-teens. Right. Um, the idea that it's, it's, you know, what makes a work of art? Is it necessarily about skill? Is it necessarily about making? Or is it about creativity? Or can it also be just about choice? Except that Duchamp sort of said, well, it's not about skill. But he did kind of shift it over to the conceptual, that it was still about choices and ideas. What's the idea here? Well, I think she really is, in many ways, a conceptual artist. So she's thinking, okay, well, but this is a photograph of Weston's son, Neil. And he is doing something, you know, really flexing his creative muscles here. First of all, he's created the boy. This is his boy. And his he son. is his son, right? right? Um, and so then he's going to use his son as sort of like raw material um, mm -hmm. for his own photograph. He's Just also... Creates the, him twice. Exactly. Right? So... You know, to, for Weston, this is really an image that's in part about possession. You know, mm -hmm. he is the master of all things in this image. On the other hand, he's also borrowing a good degree from the whole history of the nude, of the classical nude. And from this series, some of these look very, very similar to Donatello's Young David, for mm -hmm. example. So he's also inserting himself in, you know, ensconcing himself very much in a tradition. Mm -hmm. This is a whole kind of modernist thing going on for Weston, a, a kind of male artist mm -hmm. um, inserting himself into tradition. It's sort of in this kind of heroic mm -hmm. moment of originality and contribution and creativity. And then Sherry Levine comes along as a woman and copies it. And she, well, she feels also, I think, very much outside of that tradition. You as know, a woman. As a woman. Yeah. A lot of artists, male or female, feel like something, everything's already been done before, you know, and deal with that I think anxiety. our students feel that way a lot. I'm sure they do. Yeah. yeah. And I know sometimes when I write, I feel that Me way. Me too. You know, so it's a natural yeah. feeling. So she sort of takes that by the horns, <laughs> ultimately, and sort of wrestles it to the ground and ends up doing something that no one had ever done before. Her re-photographing as someone else's photograph was something that no one had ever done before. Um, you know, important writers had written that photographers have always failed to reproduce exactly another person's photograph. And here she does it. And she does it in a way that seems very simple to us, but in a way it was also something that was ultimately very creative. Does she do it in a particular way? I mean, is she particularly faithful to the original? Well, she, she does not crop the image. I mean, unless you, you know, you really are a connoisseur of prints, um, it would be very hard for you to tell the difference between, you know, her photograph and the original. But, you know, a lot of times she might just photograph out of a catalog rather than really? in front of the actual mm -hmm. thing. So. And, she, and she also photographed works of other artists, not just photographers. Exactly. And uh, recreates things um, from paintings into sculpture. So she, she's, uh, it's very much about being influenced and being in the zone. And, of and we, actually, we live in a world where so little is original anyway. Exactly. Maybe that's the whole point, too. I mean, everything is mass-created. You know, everything is... Right. is it's an um, essential multiples, truth. Multiples. Right. Yeah. Where is the original anymore? Right. 